Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can quickly and easily import assets or import accessories and add to your player in your Roblox game. Of course, you will be able to do a lot of stuff, other stuff as well, but I'm going to show you how you can add them to your player. First of all, you'll need to open up. I already made a video about this, but let's go through it quickly. Your here under your view your command bar which is right below and enter the script it's game get service instant insert service load asset the id of the asset dot parent equal game dot workspace now your asset again this script is going to be in the description so you can get it and find it easily but once you get the script you just need to add the asset id or accessory id which you can find online or wherever you find your assets or accessories. And once you do, once you have this script, you will be able to get that asset. So you simply go enter and right here under workspace, a new model just appeared. I can see it once I go into my game. And here am I, here is the asset from my previous game or tutorial. And here is the new asset I added which is basically a red wig. So let's add this asset, which is this hat to my player character. How to add the same accessory to your player character. Now I'm going to get this accessory as you can see here, and then I'm going to move it to starter player, starter character script by simply dragging and dropping it to it and getting it to the starter player now once i get to the play my player character has this fedora hat on of course i still might have my hair i can then remove it but that is the basic principle the basic concept of adding accessories to your roblox game first use the script again the script is in the description below so we can find it find the id get it to your workspace or wherever i want and then once you get it, use the same model and its accessory. So not the entire model, just the accessory and everything behind it, which is handle and thumbnail configuration, wherever you like to use it. That's it. Pretty easy, pretty safe, straightforward, pretty simple. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider supporting me by subscribing to my channel, being here for my new clips. Also check out my Patreon page, check out my channel memberships and check out my books on Amazon. All of that asks for your money, but simply subscribing asks for nothing. And if you leave a like and become a subscriber, that would be amazing. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ivica. Have loads of fun in your Roblox adventures and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Until then, bye bye.